Hey, what's up guys, Max here. So who out of these three girls can face the best? You know, we've known two of them. Two of them have been in the game for a very long time, but Viv Vision just got added and you're probably thinking, oh, she's got face. She reminds me of Ghost. She might remind me of Kitty Pride. If one of these two are your favorite champions, then, or if you don't like the face mechanic, but there's quite a few people that don't and don't like that play style, you, you might kind of brush off Viv. Well, I'm here to tell you that Viv's face mechanic is extremely different, very different than both Ghost and Kitty combined. Even Ghost and Kitty combined don't have similar face mechanics. Yes, they can do all the, all of them, all three, do the avoiding of damage, basically, phase. You take no damage, whether it's a special, it's a combo, depend, you know, on depending on the, the uh, attacker's combo and how long it lasts, you can face sometimes the entire thing. But I'm here to tell you that Viv's Vision's face is a little different and possibly easier. Now, this is kind of personal perspective here when it comes to my opinion there is because uh, I've managed to learn how to play Ghost over the last couple of months and Kitty Pride as well as she was my, she is my first rank five. So I've been using her quite a lot. Um, didn't use both of these champions when they first came out, but I mean, testing and testing Viv Vision and finding it that because of the face, well, that's one of the things that interested me on her. Um, but let's let's take this team apart just in case there's any synergies that might help one with the other, which there wasn't since we're just testing with Viv. But we're gonna go up against that Deadpool since we love Deadpool um, and see how her face mechanic works and kind of point out some of the features that she brings to the game. Now this is a rank four SIG 200 Viv. Um, and so let's get into that fight. Now, by the way, all champions are going to be rank four, uh, SIG 200. Um, and here we are. One of the first things we notice is how do you proc phase? Um, is basically with a parry. So a lot of us know how to parry, ideally, right? Unless you miss or mistime the parry. That happens quite often. But if you don't, you're just going to be able to have to parry just to trigger the face mechanic. Once you trigger the face mechanic, it does not reapply itself. If you reparry, if you go for a parry and reparry, which a lot of people tend to do, they're going to find themselves not being able to face again and finding themselves hitting, uh, getting hit by the opponent. The reason why that happens is because she loses the phase. You saw the clock here at the top left. Uh, that green circle, that's basically her face mechanic. And once she phases, it goes on a cooldown unless you trigger a uh, ending combo with... Um, there's a few ways, actually. Let me explain those right now. Uh, as we're kind of like letting Deadpool, dancing around Deadpool here. There's a few ways to trigger it and get it back. So right now, we're going to completely lose it. One way to trigger it is by pairing heavy parry heavy the heavy itself whether you heavy counter you parry heavy um the heavy itself is what triggers the phase mechanic to come back so let's go ahead and parry counter and there we go see that is how you get your phase back so now we're going to be able to face that whole entire hit the other way to do it's light medium and that brings your phase mechanic feature back up so again these are pointing out a couple of features on how to bring it up uh, just in case you um, messed up in the fight and that was a light medium light that I ended there and we got the phase mechanic there. Now, Deadpool was pretty much going to die. So let's get back into the fight and show you a couple of other ways to get her phase mechanic back up. So we're going to go into this winter soldier fight to give you more of a longer health pool to show you different ways to basically get that phase. So as you can see there, we ended with a light and a medium. But one of the biggest things is um, why this phase comes back when you end with a light or medium. It's it's getting a solar energy charge. Basically, when she ends the combo with a medium or a light, she gains the solar energy charge. And that is what allows her to phase or get her phase feature um, back on. So as you can see there, we also, one thing that's interesting about Viv, and this is going to take some practice, is that she can evade or phase or miss the entire specials of a couple of champions so here we're gonna go and show you um i want to show you basically how she kind of completely faces the entire special one of oh 
I can't do it right now because I noticed I didn't have that face feature on, on myself. So I did, I actually used it, but that can be also an issue that you may run across as you're getting used to her that you didn't realize that you didn't have it. And there we go. See how I it basically faced the entire special one allows me to counter. And that is actually going to be extremely useful for a lot of opponents because this feature works even on unblockable attacks. Now, the other thing that I do want to show you here is what her phase mechanic works how it works and how it's actually different compared to other champions or ghost and kitty um when it comes to phasing that viv brings to the table so we're gonna try to put this uh winter soldier as far into a special three as possible until unless he keeps launching it and if he keeps launching it then we're gonna be in a tough situation but let's see if we can get him to not launch specials and we're just gonna have to work our way where we take a lot of block hits which is fine because the idea here is to show you one of her features basically that she has when she does phase um and this is going to be very interesting now this is not going to be common that you do this because you typically don't push an opponent to special threes and keep them in the wall they typically launch a special so right now we're going to go and he launches a special, which is completely not what I wanted to showcase, but let's give it another try. What I'm trying to show you is basically she drains the power of the opponent. Um, and the more power they have, the more she drains. She believes is draining 30% of power for each, for every time she faces. So I guess we're going to get them to um, hopefully just over two bars of power. And then we're going to try to phase. Um, uh, a pair we're just gonna parry basically triggering phase one of his attacks and see if we can show you <sighs> I'm not able to show you there we go so there we were able to actually trigger the face mechanic uh, by letting him like basically get causing a parry and we were able to take him down to just under two bars of power. Um, again, the more he, power he has, the more chance, the more power we're actually going to take away when we do face. So um, it, it, it's a it's going to be a helpful uh, feature that she has. You might forget it because you just are not thinking about it. Um, but if you have that in the back of your head and you end up using Viv a lot you're gonna enjoy the fact that she can power control the opponent through her face and again it's very easy um to basically trigger um even through specials it's very easy as long as you can time the special animation with her face mechanic um you're gonna very have a good time enjoying the power control that she applies to the opponent so she doesn't gain power okay she uh she doesn't gain uh, damage on the opponent uh, as much really when she phases she does apply some damage but it's not going to be like the comparison of kitty that she's applying tons of damage while they she phases or the ghost scenario where she basically phases and the opponent gains a lot of power but it is a power control feature that viv has now i'm taking a little bit more time on viv just to explain to you basically her features when it comes to phasing because those are going to be the um, the ones that really stand out and that makes her different and that are not, if you think about Ghost and you think about Kitty, um, don't, yeah, it's the same, but it's a little bit easier. Um, it's a little bit more aggressive if I had to describe it because you do have to make sure you end with a light, with a medium. So you have to be hitting the opponent to make sure you have your face back. Um, but if you find it comfortable to time the parries when it comes to other opponents you're gonna have a good time with her you're gonna enjoy her she does a good amount of damage um, and the face just feels very good just like every other champion that completely misses and you feel like you just master the game because you know you're supposed to get hit but you're not getting hit well it feels very rewarding um, when you do avoid the entire special or hit when it comes to Viv so here we're going in for again a special three just to showcase all the options completely missed the parry there i was trying to face the entire special two uh, you're sometimes in certain cases you're not going to be able to evade um the uh certain uh 
basically combos if because of the practice that maybe you lack or I lack when it comes to um, being able to do so. So let's see if we can time it there. Perfect. And I dashed in way too fast, uh, which sucks. But let's go with the special one spam um, and see if we can take down this guy, Winter Soldier. And that would be our last special one. And it was not unblockable. So um, still, again, that's how you play her. That's kind of her face feature. Um, and again, if you get stuck where you're like, um, you don't have it because you didn't end the combo correctly, you, you have options to heavy counter. Her heavy is very of a long reach. If you notice that, we're gonna try to show you here. I'm gonna see how, see how long of a reach her heavy has. Obviously, not ideal there, but like if you had a counter, certain champions, obviously, when you counter them with your heavy, it doesn't reach but she has a very good reach when it comes to her heavy so that is one way to like get your face feature back up and kind of take control of the fight again so this is viv vision and her face mechanic very interesting very powerful um very enjoyable um a lot of power control with her face mechanic compared to the other two girls but let's go take a look at the uh, um the other two uh let's take a look at ghost and she how she just how her face is different um, than Viv and just point out one of the things that I feel uh, is, is noticeably different when playing Viv right now that I'm just playing her. It's just, it feels different. It feels a little bit more aggressive, but I think we can say that about the other two girls. So let's jump into Ghost. So one of the things about Ghost is when she starts the fight, she enters face feature. And so as long as the AI is cooperative, you know, you can, go into the phase and you can basically gain some power. So that's the uh, kind of almost, you want to say opposite of, if you're familiar with Ghost, the opposite of what Viv and Ghost have in common, both tech, but um, as opposed to Viv, she power controls the opponent. Ghost basically gains power um, as her higher sig is, um, she gains more power. So here we can see the phase mechanic at work. One of the other features that Ghost has when she phases is that, let me show you here, let me see, see if I can show you here. She basically makes her damage stronger. Viv doesn't have that. So when Viv phases, um, it doesn't mean that her damage is gonna be uh, increased as opposed to Ghost. When Ghost faces, you can actually gain a lot of damage here if you can time it right or you just launch your special every single hit of the, either special one or special two will crit and that makes it for a very good amount of damage so in that reference they are not the same they are where they completely can entirely m miss the entire special i dashed in there right now so that's why i got hit but um ghost gains power viv actually doesn't gain power but she does control the AI's power, which is one thing that Ghost doesn't do. So if that's one thing you want um, or you're missing out of your deck is a little bit of power control, then you're gonna have, again, a good time with with Viv. Um, here, we're gonna go and just phase and see how we phase the entire special two. We could have, but I dashed in a little bit too early. So what's one of those things about Ghost that stands out to me a bit more? Ghost is more of an offensive tank um, with the phase mechanic helping her. Um, and then she gains power, she hits harder, um, where Viv controls the power. Um, I would say that facing with Ghost might be a little bit easier because all you have to do is dash back and just re-trigger the face. Now, if you dash back twice, let's say you trash back twice here and you're like, hey, why am I not facing? It's because you do have to hit the opponent to refresh it. So the one thing about Viv is you have to pair, you have to end with a light, you have to uh, medium, you have to do a heavy, you have to do a combo or something to re-trigger your face. So they all have some kind of feature that at least, at least goes as a feature that also hinders her that she can just not face, face, face every single thing. So very different champions. I guess I would consider Ghost a bit of stronger offensive champion um, when it comes to phasing because she can use that towards the, an advantage of hitting harder where Viv is more of a power control phase. Ease of phase, I would say I would have to probably, that to me are very equal uh, because it's just a matter of a parry. I think most people would agree, 
maybe I might be wrong um, that a parry is a little bit harder than just dashing back. Um, and that has to do with the game and stuff or the timing that you got to figure out when to parry. But yes, dashing back is a lot easier than just having to deal a parry just overall if I were to put them side by side. Um, but to me, this is my personal opinion here, is that they feel very similar on how you phase when it comes to Ghost and when it comes to uh, Viv. Now let's bring in Kitty and let's look at her face features. Now with Kitty Pride, she's a very new champion to me uh, because I had her as a six star, um, but I didn't play her and I didn't have her ranked up. And uh, boy, was I missing so much. So one of the things is Kitty, when she touches back, she does not phase. When she parries, she does not phase, okay? When she dashes in is when she faces. See how very different all three champions are? Now, she does not just dash in and she faces immediately. Like, you can't just get her and dash in and face. There is a way to trigger her face, and we're gonna see it here right now. So right there, you saw me dash in and I was phasing, but now I'm dashing in and I'm not phasing. What well, has to deal with her prowess? You see right now, she's sitting at five prowess. As long as she sits over three prowess, she's gonna be able to phase anything as long as she dashes in and you dash in and you have that window to dash in. And this is where a lot of people don't like her because they feel like they have to constantly dash back and figure like it feels like an intercept, but it's really not an intercept if you think about it. The more you play her, the more you're gonna get used to of uh, like being able to like just dash in without any feeling any kind of consequences, but you do have to make sure you have those three prowls. Now they're kind of easy to get. You can intercept, you can parry, as long as you crit, you're gonna be able to get one. Um, but here we are, look, we're at five already. Um, and I completely missed the face again because I had a, just came out of a face, but that is probably when it comes to phasing and, and opinions right now, Kitty would probably be the most difficult out of the three comparing the three um, to do because you can't just face right out the gate like the other two. You have to kind of have a little bit of a build up. Um, but when it comes to damage, my goodness, let me show you really fast right now how much damage she can basically apply when it comes to a special two when her she phases and I didn't even phase into my special two. But the amount of damage I think it's hard to say. Kitty's very strong. She is extremely strong. She punches extremely hard. Um, if everything aligns itself properly, you build up the prowess, you end up into a special two, and you have this big giant special two you face and you launch it, I think that's going to be very satisfying. Um, and as opposed to Domino, uh, Domino um, Ghost, she has a little bit of a... Uh, you gotta have to counter a lot with maybe build up some furies, um, counter with a couple of heavies, um, but both of them can apply great damage. Both of them are great. How Viv compares to Kitty, uh, yes, Kitty really outshines Viv in when it comes to damage and the way she phases. Um, I would say, again, Kitty's a little bit more complicated in, in building up her phase, where and she has no power control per se, um, where she's taking away the power or the power from the opponent, but she does have it where she can eat an entire special three, and I guess you can power control the opponent that way, um, you know, and then they're back to zero. Uh, but what are your guys' thoughts if you had a chance to get Viv into your team um, or you have these three girls and you like to play them? Um, this is basically just to get you thinking, uh, when it comes to Viv as a new added champion and just just comparing these three girls, you know, Viv Vision, the new champion that just got added this month, Ghost, the OG champ that's been out for a while, Kitty just added maybe, what is it, two years ago or a year ago, um, but she's they're, they're, both of them are phenomenal. Now the question is, is Viv going to be able to stand with these two girls when it comes to her phasing? Think she might be the third runner up <laughs> she's gonna be on the on the at if i've had to put these three together um you know she's not number one or number two she's gonna be number three for me um but doesn't mean that she's awful doesn't mean that she's not as good as other players she's really good she controls the fight and she does really good amount of damage but 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this type of video. If you do, let me know as you know that just simple yes, yeah, this is interesting, or maybe test this. That helps me get more ideas um, because these are just the ones that come up here and I kind of put them into a format of a video. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.